Well, we named our farm Boone's Lake Heritage Farm after the Boone's Lake Trail. When I was growing up, the wagon ruts were still really visible on the south side of our farm. I think a lot about all the peoples that have come across the land and hunted and farmed it before, before we came. And paying homage to that legacy of, of movement and, and settlement was important to us. I'm Matt Arthur with BLH Farm. We grow a variety, especially cut flowers, greens, and mushrooms for farmer's market, wholesale, and grocery. This past summer, uh, we had production kind of rolling here, able to take the time to set up a dedicated facility. So we, we grow mushrooms indoors 12 months a year. It's a great addition for us because we really like eating mushrooms. We like having a locally sustainable protein source grown in a super small footprint, but we can produce you know, hundreds of pounds a week. And we can take the spent mushroom substrate and either feed it to worms that are mushroom facility or crumble it directly onto the beds when we're flipping beds. Our feeling is if you're bringing materials from off farm onto the farm for your operation, it's not sustainable. Sustainable means that everything has to come from as small a radius as possible. Overall, we're just committed to doing as little disturbance of the land as possible once we've formed our permanent beds. We're seeing the soil change to a much richer, crumblier soil. Having it every season look better and be more productive and have the soil be healthier, that's really fun for us because we can focus on taking this one acre and cutting it just the right time, having it cared for in just the right way and then getting it to people right when things are going to look the best and last the longest. We joined the Columbia Farmers Market in 2021. It's been super valuable. Flower lovers understand what makes flowers appealing and letting us talk to people about how to care for flowers, what makes Missouri grown flowers unique. It's really rewarding that people come back week after week and tell us the bouquet still looks great right? seven, eight days in, which it should. Flowers shouldn't be a super expensive once a year tree. It shouldn't be limited to special occasion. It's really fun to have people learn that you should be able to have affordable, beautiful cut flowers like day in and day out. Locally grown flowers really can be just the, the absolute peak of beauty and base life and fragrance and everything else that, that makes flowers so wonderful. 